The church started actually in our home, uh, in our basement, uh, for a year, and every Wednesday night, um, it was really a joy to get every, everything set up, uh, to receive everyone. It was just nice seeing everybody come in and just um, experiencing the growth of the church, and um, it was just a nice beginning. Well, I just remember after having met at our house for about a year, which was, I think it was every Monday that we met, which meant that we always had to be home to make sure that everything was set up uh, to receive the people that were coming. And it wasn't on my mind necessarily asking when uh, that might be a date when we were gonna move into a church building, but Michael came in on that day. And I said, Michael, do you happen to have a date in mind that you might move into a facility? And Michael looked at me and he smiled and he said, is that your way of asking us to get out your house? We grew from a small group of people in the, uh, uh, in the basement of one of the members' homes until we're here at this beautiful church. We had a balloon payment that we had to get the land, but we worked very hard at that. We decided we did not want to do a lot of selling or a fundraising. What we did, we just trusted God to, do, to give our 10% tithes and offerings. We had people who loved us who gave a contribution and uh, the kids even got involved by bringing their pennies and nickels and putting them in a jar. And it was just a great thing at that time that we were so proud. We got down to about the last couple of months before that balloon note was due and we just got real busy with faith. We just had faith that we were going to make it, and we did. Uh, at the time of closing, we had about $2,000 more than what we needed. So we knew that God loved us and that that's how we got over. 